got to get my head out of cleansing and, and spreading because I'll get confused. So when we do massage, we do we start with the massage medium. Massage medium is usually the uh, Dermalogica uh, massage gel. And warm it up in your hands. As you warm it up, it's going to become liquid more than gel. You're going to do your spreading technique. Pre-spread across, across the neck, across the chin, cheeks, down the nose, and across the forehead. And then you come to the temples. That's the way you start. And then the first movement is brow lifts. You might have to remind me of this. It's been a minute. Brow lifts, you're going to do three times across. And there's three brow movements or three forehead movements. Two. Three. Come back to the center and you're going to do circles. And I use the two middle fingers, circle all the way out to the temples, slide back, and circle across the middle of the forehead to the temples, slide back to the top of the forehead, all the way to the temples, slide back, lower, and everything's in threes up to a point. Do you know how long a massage should last on a client? 10 minutes. 10 to 15 minutes. So the next step is going to be the crisscross. And all you're doing is going back and forth, crisscrossing. Now we're going to move from the forehead and we're going to start working around the eyes. And there's going to be three movements around the eyes that we do. Crisscross, crisscross, crisscross to the center. We're going to smooth the brow. We're going to circle under the eyes. Between the eyes, smooth the brow, circle under the eye. Smooth the brow, circle under the eye. How many times do we do this? Three. Six. Now we're going to go into eyebrow taps or eye taps. Tapping glasses. Tap around the eyes. And then we're going to circle at the temple, circle under, slide under, circle under, and slide back out. Circle under, slide back out. How many times? Three. Sure, three? Six. Six. Oh. It's in components of three. You were close. Three of each. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to do this six times. And then... Temples, we're going to come all the way around to the forehead, to the corner of the mouth, circle the mouth, corner of the nose, circle the nose, between the eyes. We call this the heart. Is that right? Yeah. So this is, a, this is what I call a connector. So we finished with the upper portion of the face. Now we're connecting to the lower portion. So, so what is it? This is considered one massage. One whole massage. It's going to take about 10, 10 to 15 minutes. How many times? Six. Six. Mm -hmm. And then when we get through with the heart, what is the next step? It's going to be on the cheeks. Cheek taps. Cheek taps is going to be this. Skibbity pats. Yep. And we're just going to tap all over the cheeks. Cheek circles. So the waves are going to start at the corner of the lips. The two middle fingers, you're going to go all the way to the lobe of the ear, slide into the corner of the nose, circles to the middle of the ear, slide up to the upper cheek, circles to the top of the ear. You're going to slide back down to the lip, circles to the lobe, middle to the middle of the ear, circles to the top of the ear. And then... Scissors on the cheeks. Okay. So I always circle out and then I slide back in. Scissors is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 
and the way you're doing this is you're, it's almost like you're smiling. You're pulling it upward towards the top of the ear. So you don't want to pull it down because we don't ever want to make the mouth sag. We want to pull it upward. And then scissors on the mouth turns into snowman. snowman. This is where your thumb is going to go one, two, one, two. Y'all should already be doing this in your cleansing. It's basically the same movement. And then after your snowman. Alternating hand stroke and jaw. So it's it's the same as your scissors on the cheeks, except now we're doing it on the jaw. So one, two, three, four, five, six, eight. Six times. Eight. eight. And then we're moving to the neck, right? Neck circles. Neck circles are going to be in this area here. Or you can do circles this way. It's your option. And I've even seen them do this, roll padding. And I'm fine with that. And just make sure you focus on that neck. A lot of people like this if they like the deeper massage around their neck. Once you do this, we go back up, start working our way back up the face. And we do the tap, tap, lift, 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 on the jaw. You can do this, tap, 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 tap. Because this is why I like to do it in this direction, in this way, is because when you get to the cheeks again, and it says circles on the cheeks, there's a couple of different ways you can do it. I'm going to show you two different ways. So we're focusing on the jaw right now. Now we're moving up the cheek and we're just gonna start slowing down. And then these are circles on the cheeks this way. Remember the roll padding you did? Mm -hmm. So now you're roll padding on the cheeks again. Or you can do your circles this way. So either or, I'm okay with either. Circles on the cheeks turn into circles on the temples circles on the forehead and again if you want if you are doing this on the cheek you can go up and do roll padding on the forehead so I'm going to take either one it doesn't matter to me either one of them feel good to me and either one of them is going to feel good to your client but what I want y'all to do is make it your own and then press in and then come off and that's your massage. Let's see.